Welcome to episode 13 of the Automation Podcast brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and on today's show, we'll be discussing how you can get Rockwell Software and Alan Bradley Software for free. One of the biggest complaints I've heard over the years is that customers are buying Rockwell products, but they don't get the software to go along with those products for free. However, these days, that's changing a little bit. So today I'll take you through all the different software packages you can get from Rockwell for free, and hopefully that'll be of some help. Now everything we're going to cover here is totally legitimate and on the up and up. These are all going to be Rockwell or other vendor websites that officially provide free software. So no worries about copy protection or piracy. This is all legit. And I'm going to go through these packages based on where they're found not based on how they're related to each other. So we'll walk through each website and tell you what's available on them for free based on the actual website itself. Okay, so our first stop on the free software express is ab.com. When you get there, you'll see on the left-hand side, one of the options in the menu is product compatibility and download center. Go ahead and click on that, then click on get downloads and you'll see a selection for find product downloads. That's where we want to go. Once you have that up, just type the word free and that'll filter out everything except for free software products. Now the first thing that comes up in the list is the Connected Components Workbench. This is free programming software for the Micro 800 family of PLCs, for the PanelView component family of HMIs, and for Allen Bradley's Drives. So it's a replacement for Drive Explorer. Next, we'll talk about Factory Talk Services Platform, or FTSP, which is how it's shown in the list. That basically is Factory Talk Services with RS Links Enterprise. Then next in the list, you'll see RS Links Classic Lite. So if you needed to update RS Links and you own RS Logix 5, 500, 5000, you can get the latest version here for free. And finally, you'll see Studio 5000 or RS Logix 5000 tools. All those free tools for RS Logix 5000 or Studio 5000 are available here as well. Now aside from the software which is listed independently, there's also a listing for free downloads, which for some reason links to additional downloads which don't show up in this list. So to see those, you have to click on free downloads and then you'll click on downloads. And when that page comes up, you'll click on the little picture of the red arrow with the hard drive and you'll see a list of more free downloads. Now I'm not gonna go through everything in the list. I'm just gonna point out those downloads which I think are the most relevant. So here we go. The first one in the list that I think is relevant is RS Logix Emulate 500. This is software to emulate your program. It's almost like a soft PLC in a way. It emulates your PLC for your Slick 500 or your MicroLogix on your computer. This is software that used to be sold That's now free of charge, and quite honestly, it works pretty well, so I definitely recommend grabbing that. The next item in the list I want to point out is the Factory Talk View ME Transfer Utility. Many people are still using an old version of Factory Talk View, but they're getting new PanelView Pluses in on new orders. Now, many of them understand that new PanelView Pluses can use old MER files. However, the old transfer utility that comes with the old copies of View Studio it doesn't know what this new hardware is. So if you don't want to upgrade your View Studio, but you want to be able to transfer your programs to your PanelView Plus across the network, here is where you can get the free transfer utility upgrade. And it also includes a new copy of RS Links and a new copy of Factory Talk Services Platform. And I highly recommend, before you install it, you take a VMware snapshot. If you're not running VMware, I recommend you should. Listen to our previous podcast about virtualization if you want to know more about it. But VMware is worth it because you can take a snapshot that you can roll back to if something goes wrong on a software installation. So highly recommended. And the final thing in the list I want to point out is the Kept Server Enterprise Downloads. Kept Server is free for use with Factory Talk View Machine Edition and the PanelView Plus. And if you don't have your CD anymore, you can grab a copy right here. All right, that's about it for the software downloads free category. Let's now go to the Micrologics Downloads page at ab.com. The fastest way to get there, in my opinion, is go to ab.com and search on MicroLogix Downloads. Okay, once you pull it up, you're going to find a couple of things. First of all, you may not know this, but RS Logix Micro Starter Lite is completely free and will program any MicroLogix 1000 or 1100. 
There's also a link here for RSLogix Emulate 500, which we already covered at the first site. As well as a very useful utility for OEMs is a MicroLogix program download utility that you could send out to your end customers when you send them a new program and they can use to download the program to your PLC without the need for them to purchase RSLogix Micro or RSLogix 500. And there are several other utilities and downloads here, but those are the big ones in my opinion. Our next stop is the Drive Explorer software page. If you'll search ab.com on Drive Explorer software, the first link comes up, will take you right there. And because Rockwell has moved to Connected Components Workbench for programming drives, they are now giving away the full version of Drive Explorer software. So that's great news, more free software from Rockwell. Okay, for our next stop, we're going to head over to the knowledge base. Now, you don't have to have a support contract to get this particular uh, tech note that will have free software in it. The tech note you're looking for is 41633. And if you don't know, the way you get to the knowledge base is you go to ab.com, and then halfway down on the left-hand side, you'll see a link to the knowledge base. And if you search on tech note number 41633, you'll find a free public tech note that has SLC 100, and SLC 150 software in it. So anybody now, with a contract or without, can download that Slick 100, Slick 150 software at no charge. Now it is DOS software, so I can't guarantee you're gonna be able to get it to work unless you're pretty good with computers. However, the software is free, and free is worth it if you're trying to maintain old Slick 100 or Slick 150 programmable controllers. All right, for the next batch of free software, we're gonna to go to a page which I'm kinda of surprised is still up. It's the Rockwell Software Download page. And the URL you want to type in is www.rockwellautomation.com forward slash Rockwell Software forward slash downloads. And that's downloads with an S at the end. Okay. From here, you'll find several free packages. The first series we'll cover are the data liners. So from this list, you'll be able to find data liner 5, data liner 30, and data liner 40 software all free. You'll also find InView software version 2.6. And if you keep going down the list, you're going to find software for the DTM Plus. You're going to find a complete free version of Drive Tools, as well as UltraWare, which is programming software for the Ultra Servo Controllers. And you'll also find free versions of RS Networks for DeviceNet and ControlNet. Now these are older versions. And I know RS Networks for DeviceNet is limited when you don't have an activation. You can only program systems with nodes 0 through 6. You won't be able to attach to anything that's higher than node 6. But it's free and it's available from this site. And finally, the last thing of note in this long list of free software on the Rockwell Software Downloads page is the RSView32 Extensions and Resource Kit. So if you want to get the latest and greatest versions of Recipe Pro, Messenger, SPC, Trendex, and the resource kit for RSView32, it's also made available here. Now, one final place where you can get free Allen Bradley software is actually not on the Allen Bradley website. It's actually at Spectrum Controls. Back in the 90s, Spectrum released something called an SOI, or Spectrum Operator Interface. Rockwell quickly saw that it had potential and asked Spectrum not to sell it anymore, but to allow Rockwell to sell it as a DTAM, Data Table Access Module. Now, we already talked about the DTAM Plus software being free at one of the previous Rockwell sites. If you want the regular DTAM programming software, the DPS, then you'll want to head over to Spectrum Controls, and there, as long as you register providing your name and email, you'll be sent a link for a free download to the DTAM programming software. And that's it for online locations where you can download free software. However, there are other ways to use Rockwell software legally for free. First of all, all the new packages come with a seven-day grace period. So if you know somebody who has a CD, you can install it on your computer and legitimately run it in grace mode for seven days. Also, if you just want to evaluate the software, you can call your local Rockwell Automation or authorized distributor and ask for a 30-day temporary license. They'll send you an email where you can download it and where you'll get an activation file that's available for 30 days. So that's another option if you just want to evaluate the software. And finally, many of the products have a demo mode, specifically RS View 32, Factory Talk View ME, and Factory Talk View SE all have a two hour and either a tag limited or screen limited demo mode, which you can use to really use the software as much as you want if you're trying to learn it or trying to teach somebody else how to use it. 
And aside from that, I don't know of any other ways to get free software, but that's a pretty good list, and I hope you find that helpful. If you look at this episode's blog post, I've included links to the automation blog and the articles that have links to all of these websites I've just mentioned. So don't feel like you have to rewind the podcast and write everything down. The links are in this podcast's blog post, which will link you right to the automation blog and those articles that link to the free software. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Podcast. If you have any comments, questions, or even corrections, please don't hesitate to share them with us. You can do so by replying to this episode's blog post at theautomationpodcast.com. And you can always stay up to date with all the Insights websites at insightsandautomation.com, all by connecting with me on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, where I'm known as Mr. Sean Tierney. Before we go, let's take a look at what's coming up on our next podcast. Tune in for episode 14 next week for a discussion about transferring ABHMI files to the HMI using a USB stick. We'll be covering the PanelView Plus and the PanelView Component. Well, that's it for episode 13 of the Automation Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Tierney, and until next time, 